Hey guys, today I'll show you a free alternative to the After Effects rotoscope tool, which is used to isolate objects from a video. It's called Segment Anything 2, aka Samtu by Meta, so let me show you how to use it. First, go to samtu.metademolab.com slash demo, and here choose to change the example video. Choose to upload your own video. Keep in mind that the limit is 70 megabytes, and also that the exported video will have a lower resolution. I've noticed that my full HD video came out at 1280 by 70 20 pixels when I exported it. And also there's going to be a watermark applied to your videos. These are the main limitations that I have discovered. After you wait for your video to be uploaded, you can start selecting objects by adding these plus and minus points. Then hit track objects and analyze the results. If you are happy with how the selection turned out, click next. Here you can apply different filters to the selected objects in the background. Things like replacing them with white, black or green screen, adding a gradient, pixelating them or different overlays and text. I'll replace the background with green screen by clicking three times on the erase button and then click next to download the results. Then let's move to the second video. This one is some sports footage to see if the subject is recognized during movement or if it blends with the other objects in the background. And here we see that the AI did a pretty great job of keeping the selection on our subject. Again, let's hit next and then click three times on erase under the background section to put it on green screen, then next and download the video. Lastly, I tried a crazier example uh, just to push the limits of this AI, but we can see that it gets tricky uh, when you have complex subjects. So I think this AI works best for quick edits in simple videos, uh, not high-end productions or things like that but it's a free tool after all, so we can't complain. And finally, after downloading these videos, we can add them to Premiere. Here we see the watermark and the resolution, which was reduced. So what do you think of this tool? Are you gonna use this in your workflow? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day. This is Creative Society.